I have been there, but yes, as human beings, whether you want to tell me that you are the most spiritual here, is the point whether you're giving your time to yourself that you got to be here. But this evening, as people modeled by the life of St. Gerard in our league, it is something that is expected of us. It's something that is expected of us. See the condition of the Nigerian situation now. A lot of people are planning for the future. People are afraid to give. In fact, if you go to churches now to do fundraising as priests, will they hear me? You go do, do, do before people start blasphemy. It is very hard now. Somebody who doesn't know what their next day will be, and you are telling them to come and give God. You say, I don't see God, but I beg God, give this match up. It's very difficult for some people to respond now. But for us, as members of this league, Say, Gerard, if you read about him, you know how he went about doing his giving himself, offering his time, offering all he has on the poor. And it became for him a story that will be told about him tomorrow and next tomorrow. This evening, my dear sisters and brothers, sacrifice as an act of love should be connected with one another, number one. We cannot say we love God and we fail to give out our time. When we call for meetings, when we call for um, outreach like this, I know many of us in our archdiocese care about this, but very few people do. Some people came in today, some came yesterday. It's not because it's comfortable to leave your comfort zone. It's not because it's wonderful because you have all the money to pay, but because you are here to receive what God has promised to those who make sacrifice for their time.